Hello, Augies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kessler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, here with another episode of Ask Dave. Today we're looking at uh, vendors who are at Pacificon, and this is a major player, Flex Radio. And Steve Hicks, who is the Chief Technology Officer, uh, N5AC, is going to talk about Flex Radio. Flex Radios have been uh, software-defined radios from the start. They're high-end radios. They're very good at what they do, and they're sort of setting the standard in the area of software-defined radios. So let's see what he has to say. Let's see. Steve, tell me who you are and what you do for the company. Uh, I'm Steve Hicks. I'm the Chief Technology Officer at Flex Radio. Okay. And tell me why Flex Radio is the cat's meow. Uh, well, we, we are a very forward-looking company and are always looking at new technology and what we can add uh, to advance the amateur radio art. Uh, so if you look at our products, we have a lot of uh, uh, neat technology features. We want to adopt uh, new, new things like, as an example, when FreeDV came out uh, in Codec 2, we implemented those and put them in the radio. So there's a long string of technologies like that that we like to latch on to and add to the radio. Now, you were one of the pioneers in software-defined radio. Yeah, Flix Radio uh, started out 20 years ago, and we wrote a series, that our founder, Gerald Youngblood, uh, wrote a series of four articles on software-defined radio uh, in the amateur radio world and actually created a software-defined radio, uh, which he then made available to hands. And so the company grew out of that initial uh, work, and, and those articles were published in QEX. So what are the particular advantages of a software-defined radio? Uh, well, there's a lot of them. One of them is that uh, once you buy one of our radios uh, that's a true software-defined radio, we continually update the software. So uh, when we came out with the first Flex 6700, uh, which was in 2012, so about 10 years ago, uh, it, it would only do a, a subset of the features that it does today. And uh, year after year, we add new things. So we've added things like uh, Smart Link that allows you to use the radio remotely. We've added Multiflex that allows multiple people to use the same radio, all kinds of other features. And so you just get those through a software update. Okay, and uh, are all of the radios that you sell now running the same software? Uh, yes, they all run the same core software. Of course, each radio has different capabilities and features, so the software does different things. But yes, it's all the same software. Okay, and what is the cost to get into this? I mean, do you need to have a key to Fort Knox? Uh, yeah, so our entry-level radio is the Flex 6400, and it's around $2,500 MSRP. We have show specials and things like that, but uh, fairly inexpensive. Now, do you have to use a PC with the the radio or are they uh, standalone? Uh, so they'll operate standalone. We have uh, uh, the Flex 6400M has a front panel with a display so you can operate the radio that way. Uh, you can also use the radio with um, iPhones and iPads and things like that, Mac computers, so you don't necessarily have to have a PC. So do you basically have a PC inside the, the radio or a specialized computer? It has a specialized computer. It, it, um, it's something that we put in there that runs Linux and, yeah. and all of our software, but it's not a PC. Okay, so why would somebody change, say, from a, a ICOM 7610 to one of your products? Uh, well, we offer a lot of capabilities that uh, other radios do not. Uh, if, if you're talking specifically about a 7610, uh, even our entry-level radio, a Flex 6400, uh, will let you run two receivers and you get two VFO knobs uh, for uh, less money. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much. Nice to talk to you. Yeah, it's good to talk to you. So there you have it. Nice, very interesting uh, radios. You can do lots of things with them, either with or without a computer attached. Uh, you can do them remotely and so on. Pretty nice stuff made for the 21st century. So, if you would like to help support this channel, please go to dcastler.com support. Uh, I've added a new way there where if you want, you can just send a check directly to me. And that way there won't be any intermediate fees from uh, fee catchers like uh, um, fee catchers like PayPal and uh, Patreon. So until we next meet, 73.